what's going on guys we are back in the house for another disc review i'm super excited about this one actually i think i'm probably really excited about every disc review that i do but we are back at it again and once again we are doing another disc mania disc review and this is going to be on the new s-line plastic that just came out which is going to be on the dd3 the pd and the amazing FD that all are coming out in the beautiful new S-Line plastic. Let's head over to Derek, Steve, Blake, and Tyler, and let's get their thoughts on how they feel about this new S-Line plastic. All right, so today we're uh, testing out, we got the S-Line DD3 here. Um, first thing I'm gonna say, it feels really good in the hand. Um, it's kind of like Destroyer-esque feel uh, the S line feels really good in the hand it's kind of grippy um, had a nice little turn for the higher arm speeds really liked it um, I honestly have no negative things to say about it um, I don't say like slower arm speeds maybe a little bit more probably better for a forehand or kind of big like overstable shots feels very good in the hand though I will say if you do see it try to feel it see if you like it I love this plastic it feels very good DD3, classic Dismania, one of the better molds out there, I'd say. Super similar to a Destroyer. The new S-Line feels great. This is my first time ever putting my hands on this new S-Line stuff. So I'm excited to throw this as well. I'm expecting to be a little more stable than the Charger, but still a little on the less stable side. Out to go. I love the way this flew. I can definitely see myself picking up a few of these and putting them in the bag. I mean, I could rip it as hard as I could on Heiser flipped the flat, gave me a nice turn to the right, and slowly faded back. Excellent disc. So here we have a, looks to be a newly produced S-Line FD, um, which is super sick, I'm a big Disc Mania guy. Um, but yeah, feels really great. Feels a little bit stiff, kind of for S-Line plastic, what I'm used to at least. Feels a little stiff, just probably because it's new. Um, my older S-Line FDs, they're pretty straight to stable, so I'm guessing this one's gonna be probably the same straight to stable, but we'll see just in the new, I think these are made in Sweden, not Innova made, so we'll just see how this uh, new plastic flies. Oh, it's butter. Yeah. Yeah. So that thing is butter. Um, had a little bit of turn to it, which is kind of expected. Um, that really just feel like just like my older Innova made S line FD. So all you Dismania guys out there that love the Innova made stuff, that's just as good, I think. So we're gonna be throwing the FD here, Dismania FD. Feels good in the hand, uh, shallow rim. Feels like it can be pretty straight, with maybe a little bit of fade. But uh, yeah, so let's give it a rip. I used to bag one of these back in the day, so I'd still put it in the bag. Uh, if you get it beat in, it might turn over a little bit. But either way, pretty dead straight. Uh, feels good in the hand but this one would definitely make the bag. So Discmania discs, I have noticed, kind of tend to be a little bit more um, overstable for my arm speed, um, but I will say that the new FDs are slightly more domey, um, and I have noticed that I've been able to get a longer push um, out of the disc before it goes to fade. Um, I've also even been able to kind of throw it flat and it kind of sails to the right a little bit before it finishes over to the left. Um, so I will say I think that this new S-Line plastic, the discs tend to be a little bit more um, understable than what the original Innova made S-Line plastic is, um, which I'm loving it because I kind of have a slower arm speed. Um, so an FD for me, I really wasn't able to get a whole lot of that pushing forward motion that I really wanted, um, but I have been able to do that with these discs. PD and the DD3, they are both stable discs for me. Um, it's I haven't noticed a big enough difference between the previous um, PD and the DD3 because I can't really throw them backhand because they're so overstable. Maybe in the wind I might be able to do it now, but um, it, it just it's just not realistic enough for me to be able to throw those backhand but I do like them forehand um, it is nice to now be able to get this 
um, the DD3 in the S line plastic. I prefer the S line plastic over the C line plastic. Um, it is slightly more understable, but for four hands, I can flex them and know that they're going to come back. Um, but I will say, overall, the plastic is beautiful. Um, now that it has kind of warmed up a little bit, it does feel really good in the hand. Um, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I could possibly work this FD into the bag somehow. Uh, I'm not really for sure. I already bagged DD3s, but I feel like this DD3 will be is going to be a fine backup. If you guys want to get your hands on some of this new S-Line plastic, head on over to Play It Again Sports in Greenville. They are who sponsors some of these disc reviews and who do hook me up with some of these discs um, so that I can get my hands on them and be able to get you guys reviews before these discs come out. So head on over to Play It Again Sports in Greenville um, to get your hands on some of this beautiful new S-Line plastic. Check you guys out on the next one.